welcome back. Today, we are going to be building a pirate ship to go along with our ocean village base. It's pretty lonely out here in the middle of the sea, so I think that adding a pirate ship will help us feel a little bit more at home and also just add more to the surrounding area. So that's exactly what we're going to do in today's episode of the Daily Survival Series. If you guys are new and you have not yet subscribed, I'm uploading a new LEGO Fortnite build every single day, so make sure you guys are subscribed. We're closing in on a million subscribers, and if you guys want to say you are a true OG of the channel, make sure you guys are subscribed before one mil. Either way, we have made it back home because we need some equipment before we can go back over there. And you might be a little bit curious why we're not working on our big mega base today. And as you can see at the top of the screen, building is disabled. Yeah, honestly, I'm not sure what to do here. I feel like I've kind of maximized what I can build in this area until Lego Fortnite gives us a good update. I think that this area is going to be on hold, which is very unfortunate, but it gives us an opportunity to do something else. So we got a lot of metal cooking. We got some frost pine rods. We're going to need a lot of everything. And the good thing is we already have a lot of everything since we farmed last episode so this should make it a lot easier for us to do everything we need today but one more thing i want to do is take a friend since i always say how lonely it is out there on the dock so Let's bring our best friend Yeti, and he's going to come with us to explore this place. And just to let you guys know, I actually started recording an entire video at my village, but then the second I got the building warning, I quit. But I do have the moment I found out that I got the building warning. My reaction wasn't insane because I was more upset than anything. But here's that clip. Oh my goodness. I can't build. I can't build anything. If I break one of my builds... It still says building is disabled. Oh my goodness, wait. Yeah, I can't build here anymore. Oh my goodness, I was just building a roof. How am I supposed to do anything else? Oh, this is so bad. So as you can see there, not very happy. We're gonna have to figure that one out, but we're not gonna worry about it today. What? What? Are you serious? and i spawned back at the beginning of my server wait my base is so far away oh my goodness this is horrible at least we have some friends running with us well we made it back and we got our backpack so nothing to worry about and we have made it back to our level 10 life raft village and we got a new friend here let's see if she wants to stay interesting looking character here let's go ahead and hit live in my village but now we already have 15 friends because we have which village did we just build oh it's because we built our new ice village above ground we'll kick somebody out later but for now let's get started on the work because we got a lot of work to do and we're building a freaking pirate ship this is going to be so fun the first thing we have to do is decide where we're going to build it and i'm thinking right over here is going to be our best option the reason for that is because the villagers are glitched here if you're not aware even if i didn't have 15 villagers our villager wouldn't want to stay here because it's very glitched and people have suggested that connecting it to land might help so i'm thinking if we build a pirate ship in the middle of the water here we can connect everything and just test that out but let me get up here so we can kind of get a good look and decide exactly where we want to build it and yeah actually i'm thinking right off to the side of this deck would be a great spot right where i'm sitting in the water here there will soon be a pirate ship so let's go ahead and start laying out some base work i have no idea what i'm doing here so wish me luck drop a like on the video as well because we are going to be grinding to build this out today so let's go ahead and get started and actually the entire raft is supported by this beam which you can see sometimes in the water I'm gonna go ahead and support our pirate ship by this as well. The funniest part is everything is literally held up by this one plank. You know, 20,000 likes and I'll break it. Oh, I'm gonna regret saying that. Oh, and look, it's fish stick. There's so many villagers that want to stay here, but I just can't. I just can't right now. Either way, let's keep going on this. I don't want to get distracted. And I just realized that there's a big rock that the front of the ship would be staring at. So yeah, we got to move it. And I know that I said I was going to put it on the other side, but I think this makes a lot more sense since it's a wide open ocean. So we're going to build it on this side. This is the most satisfying thing in the world because it just feels like a puzzle and when the things fit perfectly it's just amazing okay this is the last piece does it fit perfectly or did we mess something up oh it fits perfectly let's go and i know i said that i was going to build it on that side so we can connect it to land but this rock makes it feel a little weird so we're going to build it on this side and as you can see before we do that we're building out this deck that will take you to it and the last thing we're throwing in are these railings with a tiny little gap just to make it feel a little bit more messy but this is where the boardwalk's going to be aka what we connect to the boat before we do that though we must add these wooden railings to make it really feel like it's part of this dock let's finish off these fences and bang there we go we got our deck built out the last thing 
thing and I'm talking actually the last thing before we start is that this thing has to look like it's connected to the ocean floor so we're gonna add some pillars down here we added a few more pillars under and now let's take a look at it yeah and this looks good now that it has these supports it looks like it actually should be standing in the water there so let's go ahead and start on the walkway to our boat and the first thing we got to do for our pirate ship is lay out the general shape of it what do we want it to look like so we're gonna throw in some basic flooring for the time being and to be honest I think that this is already wide enough it's not gonna be a ginormous ship and the railing that we use for this thing is actually gonna be three railings wide that way it feels pretty sturdy and as you can see the shape is coming together it's a square right now but it'll be tapered in so we're gonna go ahead and actually just start doing that right now and one of the challenges with this one is making sure that everything is perfectly aligned especially since the front and the back of the ship are gonna be going up and our fences are lining up perfectly which is a good sign and then on this side of the ship we can make the railing go all the way around since there's obviously no gap there and as you can see the shape is coming together just a little bit still a lot of work to do but this is a start let me back out so we can get daytime and we're also planning on adding an area that goes under the ship so that'll be very interesting but before we get too ahead of ourselves let's keep building here and we added a support to the bottom because i gotta do something pretty risky and that's break this does it stay up Oh, it did stay up. Okay, thank you. And the reason we did that is because I already realized that this is a little too slim for me. So I'm going to go ahead and expand this part of the boat outwards just a little bit. Obviously, I want to add a few things here. And I don't think with the current dimensions that it works perfectly. Four Lego dots wider and it already feels better. So I think that was a good change. But let's go ahead and add the railings back. We're also doing this gradual step up as well. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And what we want to do for the corners are just put these in here. That way, it looks like it connects a little bit more. We're going to take our flooring, which should fit perfectly right there. And we're going to double up so that way we have a staircase i mean i call it a second level but you know you barely go up so now if we go to the back it looks like this it's kind of closing off in and this will be the front of the ship if you couldn't tell already we just have to make sure we're still putting platforms on here since this is going to be the body of the ship and we'll worry more about the shape later but i wanted to put something down for now Ship's still looking a little flat right now, but we're getting there. This is a struggle, guys. I've never done something like this. And trying to figure out how to fit all these floors in is definitely a challenge, but it's going to be worth it. And just like that, the surface on the front of the ship is completely done. Still need to do the underside, obviously, since it's not really, you know, it's not going to look like this. But if we hop on board, as you can see, we can walk all the way to the front of our pirate ship. Now we just need to do the back part. And on the back side, we're going to put a room in so we can actually walk inside of some sort of structure. And then I also want to be able to walk on the top of the back. But it'll make more sense when I just start building. So let's get to work. I've said this a few times, but you can really see this thing taking its shape. Unfortunately, considering this thing is entirely built out of wood and I don't have any, we need to go back home. And look at that. It's a double rainbow. There's two right here. I've never seen a double rainbow in this game yet. That's pretty cool. And I said I was going to stop by my dojo, but I don't have any wood there. So we got to farm some. And we are back at the ship. And right now we are going to put the tail end of it on. And then we're going to go ahead and make sure it's all filled in. Okay, that was probably the longest time lapse I've ever done. And to be honest, I just got so distracted that I stopped talking. But we're here and it's about time we start breaking this because pretty soon it's going to touch water. These platforms aren't even helping anymore. They're just getting in the way. So we are going to chop these. My pickaxe just broke. Oh, that's going to make it so much more time consuming. Do I even have everything here? I need obsidian slabs. Oh, oh, we do have everything. And this right here is why this pirate ship is not useless because we have a full functioning village just without the villagers, obviously. I think that off camera, I'm going to actually dig into the floor and lower this whole section so that the boat is a little bit more visible because right now when you're down here, it's hard to see the boat and that kind of defeats the purpose. So I'm either going to narrow out this boardwalk or I'm going to dig it into the ground. I'm not sure yet, but for now we'll keep it just because I want to finish the boat in this episode. We got a pickaxe and we are good to keep going. And let me just tell you, it's so nice to be able to craft a pickaxe at a village in the middle of the ocean. When I started this village, I had to swim across the entire ocean to get anything. So we've definitely been upgraded. Now we need to break the last of the foundation and this random strip in the water and these random floors. And okay, everything is broken. Let's go ahead and collect the wood and let's take a look. And I'll just delete the bridge for now so we can see it a little bit better. But this is our boat right now. It's not too impressive, I know. But now is the fun part because we get to put stuff 
stuff on the top of it, which will really make it feel like a real boat. And I keep backing out so I can show you guys this during the daytime. But I went ahead and I threw a few things on. And as you can see now, it looks a little bit better. Still not there. And just putting those on all the corners makes this place look so much better already. But so far, so good. We're going to start doing a little bit of decoration. And then, of course, every single pirate ship ever had the flag at the top. So we need to build some sort of support beam going up. And to my knowledge so far in this game, there's nothing that really resembles a flag. So we won't be able to do that, unfortunately. So when you come up here now, we got the bordered edges. We have this thing, which actually holds some storage. And then we have this. But if you come down our stairs, which are still not complete, I got to add details to them but you can come into this little room i'm not sure what we could do with it besides put chests but it's a cool little entryway we got here too as well with the arch so yeah i like that a lot like i said we need to build up the pirate ship flag which will probably be right where i'm standing we're gonna do that next but first we need some copper because i'm missing it and it's actually used in a lot of the props that i'm gonna be using so for the last time i gotta go back to my village and then we are gonna finish the decorations and the structure for the pirate ship but yeah let me get back home and we are back with our copper it seems to always be raining here but i think it kind of makes the vibe better especially for a pirate ship so let's get back on our ship now it finally feels like we have a real structure here so this is pretty cool to run on but yeah we got more to do so let's not get distracted and now that we're back one of the first things i wanted to do was first off lay some pillars so it looks better here but that's not what i was talking about i want to put grand chests here because i brought some stuff with me to put these down and without storage what's the point of a room like this but i did say that we weren't done with our staircase yet we need to drop some railings on it we got a little bit of a gap so we're just gonna fill it with some of these these. The back section is looking pretty good, but now it needs some lights. And we're going to use these hanging lantern lights once again. I've been using these a lot, but I think they just look really good. All right. And this upstairs section is pretty much good. The bottom down here, I'm going to design at the end. I want to go ahead and put up the flagpole next, the one that I keep talking about. And I think, like I said, it's going to go right around here. So let's get started. I have to make sure I have the center of this place because I actually don't know where the center is. We'll measure it with one of these. Let's see. Yeah, I did get the center. Let's go. Okay. So we got the center. And here's the start of our flagpole. What we did is we put four pillars next to each other so it gives it the illusion that it's a lot thicker we're gonna keep building it up but we also have to put some sort of flag on here and the way that we're gonna do that is by keeping this part open i believe that this should extend out over the ship so something like this this should be good. Okay, and right here we placed a bunch of these corner railings, and it gives it this really cool effect. We gotta put one more since we're missing it, but as you can see, there's a lot more texture to this pillar now, and whoa, this is completely off center. It doesn't look amazing, but it definitely gives the boat more personality. I'm gonna add a tiny little one up here as well, but before we do that, we wanna put some furniture down. There's a toilet. There's a wooden toilet. Wait, that's actually hilarious. I didn't even realize that. I'm gonna put that right here. It looks like decorations, but there's actually water inside. I guess anytime you have to go to the bathroom, in the ship it's uh very easy access there's also a little bathtub oh that's sick wait that should go in here yep we got a nice little tub so if you want to get inside you got a nice view as well we'll throw some water barrels around the place just because we need a lot of water on deck i don't know why we need water on deck but we do And this place seems to be very lit up, so we're just putting lanterns everywhere, including on these beams, which I actually haven't even shown on video yet. Hold on. Let's throw some on these beams, and then let's go and get a wide shot of this, because it's coming together now, ladies and gentlemen. So we'll throw one of these on both sides, and I wonder if there's anything I can put on the top of this. Oh my goodness. There's flags. All I need is silk fabric. Holy, I have to go home again. This is going to take so long. This is going to be worth it because this is honestly one of the last touches we're going to do in this video. But this is so worth it. We have to do it. And oh my goodness, look at the ship in the nighttime. That's insane. It looks so good. Okay. I haven't even taken a look from far away yet. But yeah, you can see it off in the distance. Let me go get those flags, do the finishing touches, and I'll see you guys when we're back. And for the moment of truth, we're going to slap down the second of our two flags because as you can see we already have one on the other pillar and if we go away from this thing now look back at it yeah we got some flags okay so that looks better now it looks like it makes a little bit more sense now we've got to add some seating to this place because where are the people going to sit when they're on the ship i don't know and i know this light really doesn't match the theme but i do want to put it on here just because i want more light as much light as possible would be great because if i take off my torch so you can tell it's dark, but it looks better. You know, like I'm fully lit up, which is always a good sign considering that, yeah, this game is very dark. Oh, and over here. Ooh, these look sick. Eight frostbine, kind of expensive, but we're going to put down a few of them because it looks like we're actually lugging some cargo on this ship now. Oh, that's such a good addition. Okay, and I laid out some more props. There's one more thing I'm going to add, but I'm going to save it till the end of our last tour for this video. As you can see, we have our pirate ship here and it looks absolutely insane. We did this all in one episode as well, so make sure you guys drop 
drop a like for that. But let's go ahead and take you on a tour. So once you get across here, obviously you got the deck, the diving board that you can jump off of. But assuming that you don't jump off of here and you want to stay on this luxurious pirate ship, we can come up to the top deck where we have these two nice benches. One's red and one's yellow. So it gives it some color. Also, you can go ahead and store some stuff in here like you saw earlier. That's all we got for that area. And then down here, we got our two grand chests and not a whole lot except for our tub, just in case you want to take a nice little bath while you're at sea. But as you come out of the room, there's a whole lot going on. You saw the statues get put down and you saw some of these benches and seating arrangements. And that's about it for our modest little pirate ship, except there's one more thing. There's the edge of our ship here, which is... Uh, it's empty, which, you know, it looks good like this. But I do want to try adding one thing because I think it's probably one of the coolest sculptures in the game. And it's right over here. It's a gold llama. And we're going to go ahead and try putting it down right on the edge just to see what it looks like. If it looks bad, we can obviously take it off. But it would be cool to have this guy on the front of our ship. So let's take a look at it. You know what? I kind of like it. And yeah, honestly, that does look kind of sick. So we'll leave that on for now. And the pirate ship is basically complete. One more thing that I shouldn't do in this video because now there's stuff on the floor. But if I broke this floor, you can actually get under the pirate ship. So there is potential for me to build out a secret room under. That could be really cool. Might do that in a future video. Subscribe so you never miss any of this though. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one. Another addition to our village at sea. We have a few more things we can add in this area. And we still don't even have the high building limit yet. So there's a lot of potential for future projects here, but that's going to about do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so, so much for watching all the way until the end. It's been your boy Kaz and I'll catch y'all later. Peace.